I never thought that I would make a video like this. Trust me, I thought trading card games and most card games are boring and that there wasn't a single one that I could easily be introduced to and be hooked to until I installed Cards and Tankards. I was very hesitant in installing this game. Seeing trading card game in the description was a bit of a put off for me personally. But once you actually play it, you won't be able to put it down. Even if you have never played a single train card game before playing this game, I believe that this is the most entry-level card game that you can play. The gameplay loop of this game is fairly simplistic, but also really addictive. It's a simple card game where cards have stats on them. Each one has a certain amount of health and a certain amount of attack. You control your little guys depending on how great the enemy card is or by how low they are. There's pros and cons to some cards and you can cast spell cards which can absolutely destroy some cards. Some cards may benefit you, some cards you may have to sacrifice in order to gain other cards. Some can spawn multiple guys, some can just straight up remove some. Or uh, I mean, you can't be an asshole and just pull the final spell. Which is a card if not prepared, it can legit just wipe out every fucking creature on the board including their own. There are a multitude of cards at your disposal that will benefit any type of player. Want to be a brawler? Be a brawler. Are you into more magic? Go for magic. If you want to fuck up your enemies with a giant sloth or shit on your enemies with a dove, do it. Okay, the, the, the dove doesn't really shit on enemies, but I would like to think that it's doing that. Bird shit is toxic, so I guess you can label it as like a poison type character, I guess. What the hell am I saying? The part that I love about this game is that you may think that you're in the lead for most of the time and then a person can just randomly spawn 8 guys out of nowhere, outnumbering your one guy. Just because your deck is filled with these shitty ass coins most of the time. Sometimes when you win, you'll probably feel bad for the person on the other side because they know that they're fucked and you know that they are fucked. And that experience is just so laughably enjoyable. There are 4 factions that you can play in this game. Each faction has its pros and cons, but it typically just boils down to to what type of player you are. You can even customize your deck. In fact, there is over 150 cards that you can discover in this game. And you can form different decks in your hand depending on what faction you want to go to for that round. It's fun mix matching the cards and buying new ones with the in-game currency. I would wish for a system where you can trade your own cards with other people, but I can see some people abusing that if it was implemented. And the matches would be unfair to most newcomers who are not in the know about the game and how things work and function in the game. The community here is a mixed bag, but mostly it's pretty comfy. There's a healthy amount of people on here that are dedicated and very nice. Look inside. Look inside of this cup. Look inside. Look inside of this cup. That's my piss color. Ah, uh, no! When you enter a multiplayer lobby, you have to open up this door, which leads to a lot of people playing at once in the same room, which gives the game a very welcoming vibe to it. There are, at times, where a room can feel like a daycare for fetuses who haven't really developed into a baby yet and are stuck in the year 2016 with their humor. But when you find that perfectly calm lobby, it's great. And the lobbies are huge. It can hold 16 people, which is weird because with all the tables, only around 8 people can play at a time. Which leads to A, people leaving the lobby, B, people just waiting around until another person just stops playing, or C, daycare. With this game, I can just sense the undying passion and dedicated time that the community has put into this game. It feels very small, yet very committed at the same time. The negatives are brief, but they don't really impact the game that much. Okay, I'm not trying to be an IGN reviewer right now, but the tutorial. Jesus, the tutorial. I get it that there is some mechanics that you need to learn, but don't have a tutorial that's forced upon your player, especially one where if you lose the game, then you have to start all the way over, and you have to keep playing until you get it right. I spent 30 fucking minutes going through the tutorial, at least have an option to skip it. I felt like I was in goddamn purgatory just repeating the same steps over and over meanwhile the tutorial bitch just kept on saying with a condescending voice no you're not supposed to do that you can't place a card here you can't do that yet like god damn just let me play the fucking game i'm sorry i don't know if you can tell my voice really i know it's very hard but um i really don't like the tutorial no. in this game i do wish that the rooms were more spacious maybe have more tables set up and have a better visual variety of taverns to choose from also i do believe that the avatars should have a facelift I mean, they're not bad, but I mean, 
just have more personality to them. This game is honestly very fun. If you're new to card games and want to try them out, then you should play this. And the good thing about it is that you don't even need a VR headset to even play the game. You can just play on Steam like any other game. Sorry to the one person playing exclusively on Epic Games, but you can't play this game. I really do enjoy this game. It was a pleasant surprise and I was not expecting that I would like it. All around, this is a pretty solid game. And this is coming from a person that doesn't really play card games, which typically 99% of card games I just do not like. I'll be giving this game a 9 out of 10. It's closer to an 8 than a 10. Please give it a try. It's free after all. Anyway, subscribe if you want to, like if you want to, even comment if you want to. I don't care. You do you. Have a good day. Motherfucking beans, Gandhi.